Hey, what's up everybody? It's Frank again and welcome to my channel 16 bits or higher. On today's video, I'm going to bring you news of something that is probably what we have all been waiting for. As you can see, I'm holding my one of my R36s devices here. This is an actual legit R36s that was running Arc OS. And basically what I did a couple of days ago, I noticed that a new operating system came out that's called Dark OS. And I want you to take a look at those letters because it'll flash. It takes a while for it to boot, but it'll flash Dark OS on the front. And it's basically, it's just another version of Arc OS running Debian. So... It's actually a lot faster, a lot smoother, and it's actually developed by the, the developer that brought us the original Arc OS. I think his name is Christian Haitian. So he's doing this, uh, he's actually developing this one here. And I'm gonna tell you that I am really super impressed with the device because it is really fast. Right now, the only thing that I did was update. I uh, flashed the card and I put the uh, Dark OS card in it, and it runs on this device, and this one here is the R36S with panel four. So from what I understand, uh, this operating system is only capable of being used on RK3326s and RK3566s. So since it worked on this one, tomorrow what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try it on my other device, which is the R46S. And this one does have the higher 566. So I'm gonna install it on this one tomorrow, see if it runs. The only thing is that I'm, I'm not 100% sure. I'm not sure if it's gonna run or not, but I know that on the R36S, it does run and it runs beautifully. One thing that I noticed that they removed is if you look at the, um, if you look at the screens, there is one screen that's missing, okay? So you got all your games and everything, but it's missing the option screen. And the reason why it's missing out of here is because he actually added it to the emulation station menu. As you can see right there, there it is. It's actually added to that menu when you click on it, you got all the same tools that you had at the options menu on Arc OS. And one thing that I noticed is that when I first updated the system, I was trying to connect to the internet and I was trying to use my old uh, Wi-Fi adapter that would run on the RK36, on the R36, I'm sorry, which was a wireless N adapter. This one run perfectly. So what I did is I went ahead and I, I I put it in the device and it didn't do anything. It wasn't working. So I was like, okay, the system has a glitch. But guess what? It doesn't have a glitch because now it actually detects the AC Wi-Fi adapter, which is faster than the wireless N. So this is, this is a really good update. This right here is fantastic. And I'm gonna show you real quick. Let me see if I can get this thing to focus. And I'm gonna connect it to the bottom here on the LTG port. And you can see that it's working. You can hear it too. And if I go to network information, okay. it shows you that I'm connected to my Wi-Fi. So it is really awesome. And I'm gonna show you how it works. I'm gonna try to download some hardware on a folder that doesn't have that many games. I did it on purpose. So let's see, right here we got Nintendo DS. I uploaded four games onto that. So I'm gonna scrape some games for this particular system. And we're gonna do that. Go down to Scraper. 
and using my wireless and adapter it took forever downloading uh, downloading files but you're gonna see right now when it does the video look at how fast it downloads the video it is simply amazing so thank you Christian for doing this operating system I think it works great and let me see let's wait for the uh, the four videos or four files to download With my wireless and adapter, this process probably would have taken me a good 30 minutes. It, all, it took forever. But as you can see, it's pretty much done. And we go there. And yeah I think it's pretty fast and the other thing that I was gonna show you was that on this particular on this particular uh, version of Arc OS Nintendo 64 actually runs like for example Paper Mario when I played Paper Mario on my on on the previous version of Arc OS I, I would just not be able to play it and I'm going to show you right now I'm going to show you what I mean because every time I try to play Paper Mario there's a screen in the beginning where and actually let me raise the volume I want to I don't want you guys to think that the speakers don't work oops I went too high I'm going to choose a different one because I already started playing with uh, file number one. So we're going to go to file number two. Uh, no, actually, let's go. This okay, so when I played this game on the other version of Arc OS, after the mail gets delivered, as soon as Luigi opened the door, the game would freeze. And it would just go to the game list and it's actually running. So I am really amazed. I am so happy with this. So the truth is that he did a really good job optimizing this. And this uh, operating system is actually being uh, developed with the uh, goal of... Um, being a, uh, an operating system that can be optimized by the user um, I would I'm gonna post I'm gonna post a link to the website because I don't I don't remember exactly what it said but y'all need to go visit it and look at everything that they're doing because this this operating system is a really big upgrade from the regular Arc OS so for now I just wanted to share that um, this system was up and running I'm gonna put a link to the GitHub page for Christian so that you can go download the file. And if you have any comments, please let me know. But I'm going to do a full a full video showing you guys how to do the update and everything, how to do the upgrade, because it's very simple. Flashing the card was actually very simple. The only thing is that you're going to have to reuse the .dtv file that it's already installed on your original card. You're going to have to use that. And for now, it doesn't... the the file that he's developing is not specific to the R36, like the one that you guys have seen on the um, AEOLUX uh, website. This one here, you would have to download the file that's made for the 351 MP. Okay, 351 MP, that's the one that I used. But like I said, I'm going to make another video showing you how to install it and what to do. And that's going to be it for this one and if you guys liked it don't forget hit that subscribe button hit the like 
and I will see you again on the next video. Bye.